Do you ever have trouble winning support for any of your ideas? The answer is yes. You know, I have to, if I have a new idea that I am in love with and I want to see it pursued, I do have to build support for it, just like anybody would, because you need very smart people to embrace the idea and move it forward. We have a framework in Amazon. It's one of our leadership principles. It's called disagree and commit. And that is extremely useful. Um, because after you've discussed an idea, you do need to make a decision and move forward. And people, the whole team needs to really commit to that. Um, when I really feel strongly about something and the team disagrees with me, I have a phrase that I like to use, which is helpful, which is, I want you to gamble with me on this. It's very different from, from phrasing that in a way because the truth is when you're in a position like that where n nobody knows what the right answer is. You're not saying, I'm right on this, go do this. You're saying, I want you to gamble with me on this because I don't know if it's right either. I disagree and commit all the time. And I promise the people when I do it, I, very clear, I don't agree with this. I think it's probably not gonna work. Um, but I will never say I told you so, and I'm going to be on your team. I will do everything I can to make it work. What's a big bet that we've taken recently at Amazon? The recent one is, um, it would be Project Kuiper. This is our uh, LEO satellite constellation. This is, the, the goal here is broadband everywhere. One of the things it does is, just the way the, the systems work, you have equal broadband all over the surface of the Earth, not exactly equal tends to be a little bit more concentrated toward the poles, unfortunately. Um, but, but, but you end up servicing uh, the whole world. And so it, it's really good. It, 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 by definition, you end up accessing people who are uh, kind of under bandwidth, you know, uh, area, rural areas, remote areas. That, and, I, and I think you can see going forward that internet to broad, access to broadband is going to be very close to being a fundamental human need uh, as we move forward. Think we'll ever have Amazon fulfillment centers on the moon? That's a very um, good question. <laughs> I haven't really contemplated that. We we'll have to think. What we'll, we'll start out delivering, you know, liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. It's going to be a small selection. Fair enough. But 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 a very important one. Right. <laughs> What advice would you give anyone in the room who's looking to start their own business? Um, I get asked this question from time to time, and uh, there are a few pieces of it. If, you're, if you want to be an entrepreneur, the most important thing is to be customer obsessed. So don't satisfy your customers. Figure out how to absolutely delight them. That is the number one thing, whoever your customers are. Passion, you have got to have some passion for the arena that you're going to uh, develop and work in. Because otherwise you're gonna be competing against people who do have compassion for that and they're gonna build better products and services. You can't be a mercenary, you have to be a missionary. Missionaries build better products and services, they always win. The mercenaries are just trying to make money and paradoxically the uh, missionaries always end up making more money. You have to pick something that you actually have a genuine passion for. You have to take risk. You have to be willing to take risk. If you aren't going to take risk, if you come up with a business idea, there's, there's no risk there, you're probably, you know, it's probably already being done. Those ideas are already being done. They're being done well by many, many people. So you gotta have something that might not work. And so you have to accept that your business is going to be, in many ways, an experiment. And it might fail. And that's okay, that's what risk is. The good news is, in, in Amazon, we still take risks all the time and we encourage it and we talk about failure. We should be failing. Our failures have to grow with the company. We need big failures if we're gonna be moving the needle. We need to have you know billion dollar scale failures and if we're not, we're not swinging, we're not swinging hard enough.